I guess for both you guys, I was having a tough situation with that at the point five with that. Mm -hmm. 14, was it 14 seconds left? Just what was the thought process in that? How, how tough of a deal is that? And, you know, they're doing your field goal in a game, too, something crazy happened. Uh, I mean, we just didn't want to drop the ball in our hands, so we wanted every opportunity to try to get down and try to score within them 14 seconds. So just being able to not be able to try to die with the ball in our hands, try to give everybody, I mean, just something magical happen. I mean, so just being able to just try to keep the ball alive and try to go score. Yeah, exactly that. Try to strain as much as you can, give somewhat of a chance to the team to try to go score and try to do something, and that's what we try to do. And you got sex seven behind the season high and – I know all the sacks. I think they're safeties got three of them, but I guess first game, what was that pressure like? You know, that kind of pressure, and and what, what do you think happened with the pass rush? Uh, I mean, just I mean they they had a good game plan there. I mean they they knew uh, they guys some things that uh, brought different stunts and different pressures. So I mean they had a great game plan versus us, and they executed it well. Yeah, um, awesome game plan they had planned for us. Um, Isaiah McGuire, he's a high level pass rusher, definitely a draft guy, definitely going to play in the league for a long time, you know, uh, gave some trouble out on the edge there, but overall it's, we got to strain, we got to be better to give KJ the shot to make the plays that we need to make. KJ, you guys had first and goal with their two. What happened on that series there at the end of it? Um, uh, so basically they just did different things up front, uh, just being, I mean, they submerged up front, cut it, cut out linemen. So just left a big dog pile. I mean. We just came up short down there. I mean, it can't happen to SEC ball. So, I mean, you got to score when you get down on the two, uh, two-yard line and punch it in. So, I mean, but we didn't get the job done, so. Well, there's been various times as your struggles inside the five trying to finish off the drive. Why do you think that is and how frustrating is that, for especially for a guy like you on the offensive line? Um, I mean, it's kind of common knowledge when you get down there, they're going to blitz the absolute heck out of us. They're going to try to bring everything they can because what's the worst that'll happen already? five yards closer to the touchdown. So they're going to try to bring it. And if nothing else, they'll try to settle us for a field goal. So, I mean, pressure's coming from every which way. They're loading the box on us. You know, we had, I think we were down there. It was a bare front and three linebackers in the box too. So that's eight guys in the box. And, you know, we've got five guys, maybe six, to try to take care of that. And we couldn't get it done. Yes, yeah, it's a sports loss. But the third loss by two and one by three. How tough is that? Because usually those, like Santa, those kind of even out, but this year you guys are all whatever. That's frustrating, is it? I mean, it's extremely frustrating just being able to just coming up short. Uh, just being on the other side of that, on that win and loss call, I mean, it's pretty frustrating. I mean, we know we had to do so. I mean, just being able to get back to the drawing board and find a way to execute and make sure uh, we're finishing drives uh, with points. Yeah, it's incredibly frustrating. No one wants to be on the losing side of that. And I assure you, nobody cares more than this team that we're on the losing side of that. It's very frustrating. And you guys do have a bowl game to look forward to. Just how thankful you for that and kind of what's the thought process on, you know, regroup, having some time to recuperate and then play a bowl game? Well, uh, just being able to just rest and recover. I mean, just being able to get in the training room, make sure uh, everybody get somewhat close to 100% healthy, uh, just be able to go out there and just play our best brand of football in the bowl game. I mean, we're very thankful to be able to, uh, go bowling. So just being able to just get into the uh, uh, training room and just get some rest and recovery and just have fun at the bowl. Yeah. Uh, it's been a long season. We're going to yeah. benefit from a week off or whatever we're going to have off. Um, we're going to benefit a lot from it, get some guys back healthy, and just let the guys that have played a lot of snaps rest up too. But regardless of how it pans out or it, it had panned out this season, we're still going bowling. We made the postseason. There were four years, three years that we couldn't say that. AJ, how banged up are you? It seems like after you've had some time off, you've played really well, but in back-to-back -back games, you might struggle a little bit. How? What percentage are you, and what do you need to do to get back to 100%? Uh, I mean, I don't have a – I don't know a percentage of what my body is. I mean, high-level uh, football, I mean, I'm in the SEC, so, I mean, of course I'm going to get banged up. Of course things are going to happen, so – it's me being able to just go out there and just make plays. I mean, just execute the play that's given to me and make sure I'm putting my teammates in the best position to win. Uh, KJ, Jaden caught at least three passes in, in every game this year. Just what was it like playing with him? What do you think of this season? What he added to the offense? 
uh, just, I mean, his his leadership. I mean, just, he's always a positive guy. I mean, anything negative happen, he's always looking at the positive side of, of things and making sure everybody keeping their heads up. So it's being able to bring a guy like that in from Oklahoma that's, he been over there, he know what it takes to win. He know what winning is like. And so if we add him to our team and just bring that mentality and help those younger guys in their room and just be a, a, a positive role model on the sidelines and in the receiver room. So it was just a great asset. Uh, I love him uh, and I wish him the best. You've only scored on one of your opening drives this year. Uh, why do you think that is? got to get a feel for the defense, how it's going to play out. They're going to – obviously, every week you get schemed up into what they're going to do and what they're going to be. And opening drives tend to, on the most part, not be as successful. You know, you got to try to get two first downs. That's your goal first. I mean, obviously, it's always a score, but two first downs is the first step to that. But it's a whole different game versus when you watch it on TV versus when you go out there. Because when you're out there – that first drive is a drive to figure out, okay, how fast is this guy really? How strong are these guys really? How fast are the backers flowing? How fast are safeties rolling down on it? What pressure are we looking at? You know, line movements, how well are they executing them? And, you know, at the end of the day, they'll still, regardless, your goal is always to score a touchdown on it. And we've got to be better on opening drive. But a lot of it's, you got to feel out what the defense is giving you. Yeah, Sam talked about Missouri coming inspired today. You know, they were trying to get balls in the last home game. I kind of for you guys last week. Just did you get a sense they were really inspired today? Yeah, they were uh, They were hemmed up for sure. You know, um, it was a physical, physical game. Playing Missouri is always a physical game. It's a game where it's just a slugfest between the offense and defensive line, you know, of both sides of the ball. Um, and they played very inspired today. They played very hard today. And eventually they just came out with the win. Yeah, probably not too good. No. All right, fellas, thank you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you.